Hello everyone, another day, another YouTube video. I hope you're all doing okay. I feel like I've been doing a bit of a series at the moment and this very much lends itself into that. So I did a spring capsule wardrobe video a couple of weeks ago and included a couple of accessories. So I wanted to hone in a little bit more on that and do an entire video dedicated to spring staple accessories. I also did a shoe collection, it was nine pairs of shoes that I feel um, are kind of great for enhancing your spring wardrobe. So that is all kind of already on my channel for you to watch and for that reason I've not included any shoes in this video today because they're all in a dedicated video. This is just accessories, bags, sunglasses, a bit of jewellery, um, belts. So let's get started in the video. first thing I'll do, I'll go category by category, is talk about bags. So this is my first bag that I'm going to mention, it's my Louis Vuitton crossbody and what I love about this is that it's the perfect kind of decent size day bag and I think this isn't just for spring, this is for all seasons but I'm including it in the spring one because I just think you can get so much wear out of it through the season. I think particularly, it comes in this bit with black but I think particularly as this bit is a lighter colour, it looks really nice for spring and it works really well with whites, like a nice springy white dress would look great with this, um, but also for work wear, things like that. So I really do think this is a great bag to have. And I'm not necessarily saying go out and buy the exact Louis Vuitton one, but something of a similar kind of shape, size, structure to this is a really great addition to your spring bag collection. And what's great about this is it's got the long handle strap here, and it's also got the top handle here. And I just think that means you can kind of style it in multiple ways and wear it kind of casually, but also in a smart way. Like if you hold it like this, it's great for work, over the shoulder, you're taking it to weekend. So I think in terms of size, this is a really good one to have. And with it being kind of browns and beiges, again, makes it really good for your wardrobe. It kind of blends in with a lot of neutral tones, but also kind of stands out as well without being too basic and staple, it kind of crosses that line between absolute classic but also a bit of a pattern going on. So the next bag I'm going to mention is this new edition from Arquette and it's got, it's like a pouch style with the long handle here and yeah it's just nice and roomy in there which is what I love about this style of bag. Although it's kind of small and looks quite chic and you could wear it for evening, it's also really roomy and versatile and again, a bit like the Louis, you can take this from day to evening really easily. It's really nice as a clutch bag or in the evening could just wear it over your shoulder like that. And then in the daytime, wear it as a crossbody bag and I think this style, obviously very Bottega vibes and instantly updates your outfit and makes it look really chic. And also being classic black is, I think, still an essential right throughout spring and summer. I wear black all the time. <laughs> obviously um, and I just think black goes with so much even though it's the spring black is so versatile the next bag I'm going to mention is this Pauline one and the reason why I've included this is because it's just a really nice shade for spring it's like a, an off-white sort of shade and I think it's really good to have a lighter I love the dark ones and I think they'll go with a lot but I think it's good to have this lighter shade in your wardrobe as well I'm very much into crossbody bags because they're just so easy um, so this is great to throw on but again like the other the Louis bag also the Arquette one it's got another way to wear in terms of the top handle so you can carry it differently um, I think this is slightly more of a daytime bag but really nice for spring and if you're looking for more of a lighter bag I think this is a great purchase also it has got the kind of luxury feel as well but not quite white luxury price tag you know compared to other big designers out there it's slightly more affordable so the final bag i'm going to mention i've actually not got with me at the moment because obviously before lockdown well when lockdown hit it was kind of march time and a lot of my spring summer clothes are at my parents house and because it was march i didn't really realize that was the last time i was going to be there so I didn't bring back my spring summer stuff to the apartment. 
So, I don't have this bag with me, but I thought I really wanted to include it and I've got loads of pictures wearing it. So I thought I'd insert some pictures and talk about it as well because I do get a lot of questions about it. And that is the Loewe basket bag. So I got this last year, at the beginning of last year, I think it was about, it was April, it was when we were in Parma, I ordered it. And I absolutely adore this bag. Um, it's so perfect for holidays, obviously not quite what we're thinking about at the moment, but going forward, it's a timeless piece that you can pull out year after year. I mean, it's a basket bag that will never wear. But I also think it looks really chic with like a blazer and worn a bit more kind of smartly. And if you're like living in a city, I think it still works for that as well. So I got the size medium. This is what I often get questions about the sizing I got the size medium and I personally find it a really good size I, I when I saw the medium on other people I thought it looked huge and I kind of wanted that bigger style but when it arrived it wasn't quite as big as I thought but I like it nonetheless I think it's great I think the bigger size looks too big so I think this is perfect it fits everything in especially if you're on holiday you can put magazines in there it's a great bag to put to take to the airport I usually fit like another bag inside that bag all my magazines water everything can go in there it's actually really strong um, I think obviously the leather straps on it make it stronger um, but I think yeah a really nice one to have in your spring wardrobe and just gives you that instant kind of feeling of warm weather and slightly holiday vibes even if you're wearing it kind of not on holiday and just round and about it's just a really great bag to chuck everything in perfect if you're going to the shops throw it all in and yeah it's just it's just I love it okay so that is my kind of bag collection that I think is a really good set for spring and a good variety I'm gonna move on now to belts because I feel like belts in 2020 is a really big trend but also belts are something that you I mean they're absolutely timeless aren't they so I'm going to talk about my favorite belts at the moment that I'm wearing over and over again and the first one is this oversized gold buckle belt and although this is perhaps not something that will be in trend year after year I think you could get so much wear out of this whilst belts are in trend and because it's that plain black with the gold it just goes with so much and it's nice worn with midi dresses it's nice to break up a skirt it's nice with a short or long skirt it's nice over a belt even like a lightweight coat or a trench coat you can just really update your outfit just by using this belt so i do think it's so versatile despite it being you know a little bit more statement and trend led i think for going through to spring summer this is something that you can wear on repeat and update all your outfits with i forgot to mention that that one is from zara as is this one so i got this in the winter actually and it was on sale and now they've brought it back not in sale for this season but i think it's such a great purchase i think it's around 25.99 now or 20.99 but it's this it's leather it is the brown shade and it's got the gold buckle and this just looks lovely with denims. Uh, I think it works really well with black as well and I'm wearing a lot of slouchy jeans as you'll probably know if you follow me and these are so great to cinch you in with the slouchy jeans and I think with it being slimmer and brown you can wear this year upon year. It's an absolute timeless piece and with all my Zara belts I get them in the smallest size and I feel like they're plenty big enough. I'm usually between an 8 and a 10 for UK reference or a size small. So yeah, I usually go for the smallest size. And yeah, I just absolutely love this one. And then finally, for belts, I've just got this, oof, this Gucci one with the small buckle. This is the thinner size belt. Uh, what size did I get this in? Does it say it on it? 85, 34. I think that could be the right one. And to be honest, I want a couple more holes in it because you can wear it more around your hips, but I think as a waist belt, it needs a few more holes in it. I absolutely love this just because it's so simple, easy to wear. You can wear this year upon year. It's small, so it's not too in your face, but it's just got the little gold buckle there. And then black leather, I think you can wear it time and time again. And just looks great again, like I said, with all the jeans and uh, things like that. But yeah, do want an extra hole in the belts in the belt strap so that I can cinch it in even tighter. So next I'm gonna move on to sunglasses. I'm just gonna show you two pairs in my collection. 
um, because this, of course, is a capsule collection. So the first pair I'm gonna show you are these Gucci ones. So these are called the Havana. I don't think they're in stock anymore. I got them last February and they're just like this big oversized pair. They've got the Gucci logo on the side like that and the tortoise shell with the very dark, what are they called? Lenses, that's what they are. But they're also a really dark tortoise shell. So the reason I'm mentioning this pair is because I think they're a real classic and timeless pair of sunglasses. I think tortoise shell never goes out of fashion but always looks stylish. And that's why I, I usually go for tortoise shell if I'm buying a more expensive pair of sunglasses. I love these because they're chunky, they're oversized, they look quite glamorous and just kind of make every outfit, yeah, have that glamorous sort of feel. So that brings me on to my next pair because this is kind of a bit of an alternative to this because I just wanted to include a bit of variety. So you've got the classic Gucci pair there, you know, absolutely timeless, quite glam. And then also I wanted to include these ones from Under the Stories. These again are slightly cat eye. No, they're not cat eye, but these are cat slightly cat eye. Um, they're completely black and I think they're a little bit more edgy than the Gucci ones. I think the Gucci ones are classic and glam. These are more cool and slightly more edgy and I think it's nice to have that balance of pair um, in your wardrobe and these kind of, yeah, if you just want to have that little edge to your outfit, these are a good pair. These are from And Other Stories. So it's nice to always have that kind of slightly more seasonal update to your accessories, just if you want to change your look up a little bit. It's nice to have two pairs that you can go to, your classic that you can go to time and time again, and then more of a modern pair that you can kind of trendy up your outfit a little bit with. Okay, again, <laughs> because I've got a lot of stuff, spring summer stuff, not at this apartment. Um, I thought I would kind of improvise, but also I wear this in summer too when it's slightly cooler. I think a good oversized pashmina style scarf is great for spring. You can just kind of throw it on and instantly looks chic and yeah, I just usually wear scarves a bit like that. But a nice light gray is good for spring, but I think I've got one um, from Massimo Dutti that I got last year, and that is kind of beige and cream, and that is just a really nice throw on piece, especially if you are traveling. I hate saying that at the moment because we're obviously in a strange time and we don't really know what's going on, but hopefully in future we'll get to travel. That is a great one for just chucking in your bag, throwing on the plane, and also, you know, just to, on those days that it's slightly cooler and you've maybe got a trench coat on, and popping a scarf with that is just, you know, just gives you that extra layer of warmth. So finally, I am going to move on to accessories. And the first thing I'm gonna show you, I'll show you the ones that I've got on in a minute, but are these earrings. And these basically, I just think, are so nice. They're so easy to throw on. These are from Zara. I don't think they need to be an expensive pair of earrings, but I think it's really nice in spring to have a simple pair of earrings and then a statement pair of earrings. And these are more state statement, but because they're still gold and quite plain, um, they just go with so much. So that brings me on to the pair I've got in now, which are just a hoop. I think this can be any kind of gold hoop. I, put, I say gold because I wear gold the most, but any kind of hoop of the color of jewelry that you wear the most, Mine's gold. I particularly like, these are from PD Powder, and I like these because they're a hoop, but they're a little bit different. So they're chunky, um, they've got the diamantes on them, but they're not too in your face, and they just go with absolutely everything without being, they're kind of noticeable, but not noticeable, if that makes sense. So that's why I like this, they're a classic, and I think something that you'll wear with all your spring items over and over again. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is my watch. This I actually got as, I think it was my 21st present from my grandparents, and it's this Gucci silver and gold two-tone watch. And for me, these are absolute classics. I love the two-tone because I just think they go with everything, I think sometimes a gold watch can look very bright and statement, whereas this really does just kind of blend in a little bit almost, I think, with it having the silver on. I don't know why, it just seems to be less um, obvious. 
But yeah, so I love the two-tone. It's got a nice cream face on it. Um, I get so many questions about this because I think it is so timeless and so many different kinds of people can wear it. It's not too chunky. It's not too delicate. It just strikes a perfect balance and I have worn this for, well, I'm nearly 25. I'm 25 on Wednesday. Um, so I've been wearing it for four years. So, and I've still not got bored of it. So yeah, absolutely love this watch. Wear it all the time. I'm gonna mention my rings now. So I've got two different styles of rings on. They're all from Missouri, actually. This one is a chunky one. I love a chunky gold ring. So easy to just wear by itself and it matches all my jewelry. But with it being just plain gold, it kind of, again, just blends seamlessly in and doesn't look too eye-catching. And then I've got some slimmer ones on here, which are really nice for stacking. And I think both pairs are kind of classic and you can kind of mix them, match, wear them together, wear them both on the same hand. And I do think these are kind of staples to have in your jewelry wardrobe, something more chunky and then some dainty layering rings. And yeah, both from Majore, absolutely love these. And finally, I'm gonna talk about a necklace. And I love this one, perfect for spring with wearing with a really nice crisp white shirt or to jazz up something black, because black can be a bit wintry, but I think adding gold accessories to it just gives it that pop and brings it into the spring season. This one again is from Zara. Um, it's like this layering necklace with the gold link chains. And yeah, I just love it. It's just so easy to throw on. Um, again, with a really nice plain neckline or a shirt or something like that and the gold just gives it that lift. So I hope you've enjoyed my spring accessories video. Um, I'll try and link what I can wear and if I can't find the exact item anymore, I will link an alternative. But yeah, give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and also don't forget to hit subscribe. But thanks so much for watching and yeah, any feedback, comments, let me know if you've got any of the pieces I've mentioned, let me know below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.